What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about the Conjuring universe. Most specifically the Nun 2 and a little bit about the Conjuring 4. But just to kick it off and jump into the Nun 2. The panel for Warner Brothers is ongoing today at CinemaCon and I believe Paramount is going to have its panel on Thursday which is where I'm going to get to my Scream 7 bit of the video today when I get to that. Now based on the footage that was shown today at CinemaCon the footage included a first look at The Nun 2 and it sounds like according to this article from Slash Film that the sequel will be much larger in scope than Corn Hardy's original. We know that Akila Cooper who brought us Megan is a part of this project. The first images showed a group of girls playing a sinister game in chapel in France. There's a statue under a sheet that appears to move but they don't see its head turning. The church looks abandoned with a number of dark stained glass windows providing the only light. One of them asks, what are we doing here? We're playing a game, another girl replies. It's called Defy the Devil. Tysa Farmiga's character of Sister Irene is present in this trailer, and the footage ended with two girls exploring a crawl, a crawl space. They see a woman with her back turned. A huge jump scare stinger happens as the woman's hands grab the girl's face, which, of course, I would assume this must be Valak or somebody possessed by Valak or some other type of illusion created by Valak to lure the girl in. Now, The Nun 2, according to also what was revealed at CinemaCon, was filmed at real abandoned churches, as revealed again during the cinema. Con panel and Tyson Farmiga and I believe Storm Reed were the two present to make this uh, presentation and show the audience the first look at the Nun 2. We learned also going into The Conjuring, the main, the main event of this universe, The Conjuring 4 will be titled The Conjuring Last Rites. Now given that a TV show is in the works for Max, I'm curious to see if the movie will set up anything that happens in the series. The other thing that I want to touch on briefly is Final Destination. Final Destination 6 was once again reconfirmed during the panel today, but it sounds like instead of going to Max, like it was reportedly announced last year, it seems the film is likely going to be exclusively for theaters because David Saslov announced that Warner Brothers Discovery has no interest in doing director streaming movies anymore. We know Final Destination 6 is still going to be directed by Zach Lepofsky and Adam Stein. John Watts is writing up the treatment, but my curiosity is still whether or not if Guy Busick will be one of the co-writers involved still. I suspect he will, but we'll see. Jeffrey Reddick, the series creator, had this to say last year about Final Destination 6 when speaking with Dread Central. I will say this is not just going to be another kind of, we set up a group of people, they cheat death, and then they and then death just gets them. And there's one wrinkle that we kind of added to every movie to kind of like change it up a little bit. This one is a true Final Destination movie, but it doesn't follow that kind of formula that we've kind of established. I'm excited to see what that even means because I don't know how the formula can be altered in any capacity to, to make this any different than the other entries we've already gotten. But diving into Scream 7, going to speculate on what could happen on Thursday related to Scream 7. Given what happens at CinemaCon... And knowing that on Thursday, Paramount is going to have its chance to highlight and promote its upcoming slate of films. I believe the primary thing Paramount will have going on is going to be, of course, related to the blockbuster they have headed, headed our way this summer, later this year. That being the upcoming Transformers movie, the latest reboot in the ongoing series. Now, aside from that, they, of course, are still going to highlight and promote any other upcoming movies they have in their slate. Transformers, I just believe, is going to get the main focus and a lot of the attention. They could potentially make a small mention about Scream 7. We know again that Scream 6 was a commercial and critical success. It outpassed what Scream 5 did. I think it's now the third highest grossing entry in the franchise. So that is something to be proud of. And that's an accomplishment. And it more than doubled its budget. So I would think there is a chance that on Thursday, yes, you could hear a brief mention regarding Scream 7. Nothing too over the top, nothing that flat out says who's in the cast, what the story is going to be about or anything. Just something real simple, like how I believe last year at CinemaCon was where we got the simple announcement that The Nun 2 was happening. We didn't get much besides that, but this year at CinemaCon for Paramount, just to give an example of what could happen, you could get something very small, but not too overly specific to let you know that Scream 7 is officially happening. 
We don't know officially from Spyglass or Paramount if the project will happen. We just have more than enough evidence to indicate that making a seventh movie would be best or it would be a smart business move. So on Thursday, I would expect one of one of these two things to happen. You will get an announcement saying that Scream 7 will happen via some type of sizzle reel that shows the upcoming slate of movies that they're working on and Scream 7 can just show up as one. And on top of that, if you not only get that, you could have not only the confirmation that Scream 7 is happening, but you could also hear that, yes, it's coming next year, but nothing further than that. And then, of course, everybody will be up in arms like, oh, well, that wasn't enough. They didn't tell us enough. They might not tell us anything. But I will say, if you are hoping to have anything announced regarding Scream 7, the next best opportunity is coming up this Thursday during Paramount's CinemaCon panel, where they will be highlighting their upcoming slate of films. Of course, again, Transformers will most likely get the biggest attention piece during this during this live panel. But there is a chance that Scream 7 could get a mention. They most likely won't won't announce who's directing it, won't announce who's writing it. But they could, of course, always still announce who is writing and directing it. Something tells me that on Thursday we could get something. But another part of me is like, be prepared to not hear anything. But <laughs> just go into Thursday knowing that that is your best next opportunity of a chance to hear anything official regarding Scream 7. Because all we have right now is just rumors. We have the rumor that Paramount allegedly wants to have it filming no later than October of this year. There was the alleged rumor from Screen Geek, I believe, who reported that the movie had already been greenlit. That's coming from trusted sources that were never identified, of course, since they were trusted and don't want to out their sources. But Paramount could indeed again announce Scream 7 during their panel on Thursday, and we could have something to speculate on if it indeed happens. But again, this is not a guarantee. This is just something to look forward to on Thursday if you are someone who is eager to finally have Scream 7 officially greenlit. Scream 6, though, is officially available on digital if you want to go check that out and look at some of the special features that are available over on, uh, I believe it's on voodoo and i think it's also on paramount plus and it's available on pretty much any platform you can buy or rent the movie at this point but it's also on paramount plus for anybody to subscribe to paramount plus if you guys haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video